If studying in Germany is something you're looking at, then TU Munich or Technical University of Munich should be your top choice. Why? There is a long list, but let me give you a few reasons. The university is over 150 years old, ranked 28th by QS and 30th by Times Higher Education globally. First in Germany, rated 12th in the world for employability by Times Higher Education and amongst top 50 in the world for many subject areas. Hi, my name is Saket and if you want to study at this top university in Germany, stick until the end as we are also joined by Sakshi Bors, a master's student at TU Munich to help you with your application. Also, I'm dropping the link to Sakshi's winning SOP in the pinned comments and the description that help her secure her place. You can use this SOP as an inspiration to draft yours for TU Munich or any other German university you are targeting. Let's start and get to know Sakshi a bit. So I completed my bachelor's in mechanical engineering in my hometown itself and I got a placement I got a placement in a German multinational company known as KSB Pumps. And while I was working, I realized that in order to like grow a little fast in my career, I need to have a postgrad, whether it was an MBA or a master's. And then if you compare the costs of MBA in India and the master's in Germany, since Germany is known for like free education, uh, it is the cost of comparison is less in Germany. So I went for Germany. Question one, what programs can I study? Technical University of Munich is organized into seven schools and departments, which include computation, information and technology engineering and design, natural sciences, life sciences, medicine and health, management and social sciences and technology. In total, there are over 170 programs available at bachelor's and master's level. So there is something for everyone. Now let's hear from Sakshi which program she is pursuing and why she chose to study here. So the program I'm pursuing right now is uh, Masters in Sustainable Resource Management and uh, I think it, it's known that uh, the Technical University of Munich is the best universities in Germany. So while I was applying, I was either looking for courses that I like in uh, like uh, any university or the best universities so uh, according to the admits that that i got i felt that technical university of munich suited best to my requirements as they also have you know collaborations with various uh, big companies german uh, which help in getting you know good jobs after you complete your masters so that's the reason i went to munich question number two what are the entry requirements and the documentation starting with ug Studying colleague or foundation program will be usually required for admission for Indian students. Some degrees will be taught in German, some in English and some in both English and German. So do check out the course catalog for more details. I have included the links to Studying colleague and course catalog in the description box below. Also aptitude tests may be required for some programs. For PG requirements are largely similar. Mark sheets, SOP aptitude test recommendations are usually required and the university accepts three year degrees as well. German or English language proficiency is also required for both UG and PG applicants depending on the language of instruction. Accepted German tests include test DAF, TELC or Goethe certificate and for English IELTS, PTE or TOEFL are accepted. Do note that some degrees required to take the aptitude test will not require English language scores so do check beforehand. Indian applicants will need to fulfill a few key requirements too. So the UG applicants will need APS, University Entrance Exam Results, Transcripts and School Certificate. PG applicants will require APS Certificate, Transcripts and University Diploma during the application process. Links to all that I've discussed with respect to entry requirements are in the description box below. Sakshi throws some more light on the documentation she furnished during her application. Let's hear from her. Uh, so it depends on university to university, but the few documents, the most important ones are the APS certificate. Then you need the transcripts, bachelors. If you've done a diploma, then the diploma transcripts. You need two recommendation letters. And I personally uh, like request you all to uh, take the recommendation letters from the professors which have, who have done their PhD. Because because in Germany, I have heard that it is very uh, important to have that because otherwise they don't read it. So uh, it's very important. Uh, 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 apart from that, you need the mark sheets, the motivation letter for why you are applying to that university. And before getting the admit for TU Munich, either you need a research paper or there is an entrance exam for my specific course. For my uh, course, since it is in English, uh, I was required to produce a IELTS certificate. I think uh, it requires uh, the band is required to be greater than 6.5. Question number three. What does the overall process and timeline look like? So for UG students from India, start your prep as early as possible. And by that, I mean 
start at least one to one and a half years since a lot of documents will be needed such as the APS certificate which may take some time. The deadline to apply is usually July end. For masters, May end is usually the deadline to start in winter semester and November to start in the summer semester. You should start preparing at least a year in advance. Specific deadlines are mentioned in the course description page which is available in the course catalog. The link is in the description. Also, don't forget to download Sakshi's winning SOP for TU Munich from the description and the pinned comments. I'm sure it will be of great help. Also, let's hear from her more on her application timelines and experience. So basically, uh, for TU Munich, uh, you uh, like for this course, the GRE certificate is not required, so that makes it easier. Uh, all you need to do is submit your applications. Uh, after your application is submitted, uh, then uh, they uh, ask you to appear for an aptitude test. Like before, it was uh, they asked you to submit a research paper, but from like uh, the last year, I think uh, we have to give a, an aptitude test. Uh, after you, if you clear the aptitude test, then you get a di uh, admit directly. But if you do not clear the aptitude test or score less marks then they in invite you for an interview and if you clear that interview then you can be a part of TU Munich. Uh, so it is uh, it is um, advised for international students to apply till the 30th of March but the actual deadline is the 31st of May so you can apply till the 31st of May then around I think around 10th June or so you get the link for the aptitude test once it is done in I think five to seven days you get the admit if you have passed the aptitude test and if you haven't then and you get invited to the interviews and I think around July you have the results in hand if you do not pass that to test yeah question four what are the tuition fee living costs and if there are any scholarships so the tuition fee per semester will usually be 2,000 to 3,000 euros for bachelor's programs and 4,000 to 6,000 euros for master's programs TU Munich is no longer free for international applicants the cost of living expect to set aside anywhere between 1000 to 1200 euros a month in terms of scholarships there are plenty available and may give you up to 1500 euros a month the links are in the description now let's hear from Sakshi more about tuition and living costs. Uh, so basically, uh, Germany is known for public universities, but uh, from this year, uh, TU Munich has introduced semester fees and tuition fees. Before, like during my batch, we only had a semester contribution of 85 euros per month, which was for the student union. Uh, per, sorry, uh, I meant to 85 euros per semester, not month. Uh, but from this year, there are around 4,000 euros per semester tuition fees. Uh, for this course and it depends on course to course and if you live in a student dorm uh, the uh, accommodation costs are very low it's around 300 to 350 euros and I'm living in a student dorm right now but if you live in a private accommodation in and around Munich the costs go up to 500 or 600 euros per month for students and the grocery costs range around 150 to 200 euros and there is the health insurance cost which is around 130 euros per month. Now let's hear from Sakshi about her experience with APS and overall visa application process. Uh, so for me, the biggest challenge was the APS certificate. It was newly introduced when I was trying to uh, apply to the universities. And that's why for me, it took around six months to receive my certificate. But I think now the process is faster as compared to earlier. And also uh, the transcripts take a lot of time in like getting delivered to your home. For me, it took around two months. So I suggest that you apply for transcripts scripts and APS certificate as early as possible because uh, your APS certificate and an admit letter is needed to apply for a visa appointment. So uh, for me, I just checked all the documents on the website of the VFS. They are readily available. There are checklists available and you need you just need to like have two copies of all the documents and book an appointment. So for me, it was uh, apart from the APS, it was hassle free. So that was for today's video. Let me know which other universities you'd like me to cover in the next video. And before you leave, don't forget to download Sakshi's winning SOP from the pinned comments and the description. Thank you for watching and let us catch up in the next video.